For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We got some Capricorn energy. We might be doing Capricorn next. For my cross watches, this energy kept resonating. So just be a little aware that it's just tuning in. Thank you, D-Mac. I appreciate you. What is going on with Scorpio? Let's see what energies are currently coming in for Scorpio. My name is D-Reader, the Million Dollar Terror. For those of you that are new. And welcome to the Million Dollar Channel. So for a lot of my Scorpios, this is a breakthrough period for you. This is you getting through your emotions. This is you getting through something. This could be with an Aries for some of you. We definitely got a Scorpio that's dealing with an Aries. Now, this is the thing. For my Scorpios that are dealing with an Aries, y'all are either going to be best friends or y'all are going to be worst enemies. There is no way around it. We got look at the bigger picture. This could be with a Sagittarius for those of you that are dealing with a Sag right now. Possibly a Leo. Why we got all this fire energy showing up for Scorpio? Somebody's definitely dealing with a fire sign. We got don't let your pride get in the way. So for a lot of my Scorpios, don't let pride be your worst enemy. Don't let pride be what takes you down. We got step outside your comfort zone. So for a lot of my Scorpios, it's time to do something that you wouldn't normally do. And this isn't a bad thing. A lot of y'all need to do this. Just so your life improves. Just so things improve for you. We got some cancer energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a cancer. Maybe it's time to step outside your comfort zone with this cancer. Or even if you're single, not dealing with a cancer. This is just pushing through an insecurity and pushing through this moment to be better and to do better. This could be with a Taurus for some of you. We got your dreams need a practical plan. We got to be bold to make the first move. So for a lot of my Scorpios, we got some cardinal energy here. You could have a cardinal sign coming your way, a Aries, a Capricorn, a Libra, a Cancer. But I'm getting for a lot of you, the universe is wanting you to make this first move. Thank you, Ivory. I appreciate you. This universe is wanting you to make this move. This could be with a Libra. A Libra is a cardinal sign. You could have a Libra in route of you right now. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, you know. Take what energy resonates and Libra does it for somebody else. I do appreciate all my Scorpios out here. Let's see what else we got coming in for Scorpio right now. We got some Cancer energy. Somebody could be dealing with a cancer, have a history. Somebody could be 35. Somebody could have a 12-year-old. We got some Scorpio energy. Somebody could be 26. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, another Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Virgo, some of you could be trying to move on from a Virgo right now. We got a Scorpio that's trying to move on from a Virgo. This could also be you sitting down and having a conversation with this cancer or this Virgo and pretty much letting them know, like, you know what? I think it's best we go our separate ways or I think it's best we just be friends. I don't think I want to be in this relationship anymore. I'm getting a lot of different energies for Scorpio. Somebody could be 24. Okay, so somebody's trying to heal right now. We got a Scorpio that's trying to heal. We got some Pisces energy. Somebody could be trying to heal from a Pisces. You could have history with a Pisces. Somebody could have a three-year-old. We got some Taurus energy. So for those of you that are dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces, I'm getting there with so much chemistry and so much passion in this connection. This could be what kept you there for so long for those of you that just couldn't walk away, but finally was able to get up and do it. It looks like there was a power struggle in this connection, especially for those of you that are dealing with a Taurus. This could be going on right now for some of my Scorpios that are dealing with a Taurus. There could be a power struggle in this relationship. Maybe that's what's causing the drift. That's, maybe that's what's causing the rift. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the truth is going to be coming out about this Aquarius Scorpio. I don't know how you're going to feel about it. I don't know how you're going to feel about it. Been dealing with a Pisces for 10 years. Okay. I, so some of y'all have very long history with this Pisces. Some of y'all even married, got kids. Somebody could be 25. We got the angel of healing. So for a lot of my Scorpio, especially for those of you that are single right now, chose yourself. Healing is going to be really important for you right now. Healing is going to be extremely important. Somebody could be 36. Somebody could be 29. We got the angel of relationships. So for a lot of my Scorpios, don't give up on your relationship. If you're in a relationship right now, don't give up. The universe is letting you know that things could turn around if y'all have a conversation. If y'all learn to understand each other. If y'all learn to get through each other's differences. Somebody could be 29. For those of you that are single, this is love coming in for you. Somebody could have a two-year-old. Somebody, this could be with a Capricorn for some of you. We got a lot of Capricorn energy in the house right now. This could be a Capricorn. I think we're going to do Capricorn next. Somebody could be 33. We got the angel of families. So some of you are wanting the truth when it comes to a family member or a situation with a family member. I don't know exactly what happened between you and this family member, but... Okay, so we're going to be doing Capricorn next for those of y'all that are in here, my Capricorns. Somebody could be 22. We got the angel of detoxification. We got the angel of detoxification coming in for Scorpio. This is for my Scorpios that are wanting to let go of some energies. This is for my Scorpios that are wanting to let go of pain, let go of things that held them back, or even a relationship. For some of you, this could even be a job. 
You know, take what energy resonates. Once again, and leave with us for somebody else. I am still doing five for five questions for Scorpio. The cash app is D E E F O N D E L. The email is Derefondel at gmail.com. What's the advice for Scorpio right now? Instead of taking on a fear of other, I reflect love. I am I am committed to bringing forth my greatness. I will no longer accept small play. I cherish every cell in my body. This is you becoming more confident. Attacking others is an attack on myself. I choose to release this now. My Scorpios, y'all mouths so ruthless. Y'all mouths can be ruthless. Y'all watching what come out of it now. You realize that was stopping your blessings. I am in sync with the flow of life. My power lies in my peaceful presence. My greatest experience of freedom let goes of what other when I let go of what others think of me. Hold up. Okay. Owning my power inspires others to do the same. I am not afraid to shine. This is stepping into your prime, Scorpio. I cannot control the world, but I can control how I perceive it. This is having a positive outlook on what's ahead of you. For a lot of my Scorpios, you were looking at things in a dark view, but I'm seeing you have a better perspective now. This is good energy. Now everything that you're manifesting and channeling in is going to come in for you. I do appreciate all my Scorpios. Thank you for tuning in.